What's up guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather. I hope y'all have had a great day. Um, quickly before we start, I just wanna say thanks to everybody who subscribed. Um, I, definitely one of my biggest growth um, in a 24 hour period definitely just occurred the past 24 hours. So man, I appreciate you guys. Um, if you haven't and you're watching this, please hit subscribe. Right now I'm currently in my shed outside my house where there's bugs and things and it's just hot hot and I'm not trying to make y'all feel bad because I love doing this. I love talking weather. I'm trying to get to the point where I can set up something inside and, and maybe maybe get better equipment like a desktop computer where there's no dogs in the background barking, things like that. So um, hit subscribe, help me grow, help me build to get into more people and um, express my passion. I love you guys. I appreciate it for, for real. And uh, so let's just jump right into it. So one change a day is uh, the models have trended weaker with what potentially could be ECIS or Azias or however y'all want to say it. They trended weaker, but there's still a lot of question marks out there. So let's just dive right into this. So check it out here. Um, I want to I want to show this. A lot of people aren't showing this, and this is the um, dust extinction model. It's showing you where the dust is and stuff like that. Now check it out. I have circled, and this is for tomorrow. I believe, yeah. So I have circled where Inverse Vest 92L will route be tomorrow. Now check it out. Check out all that dust out in front of it until it's north. Uh, sheer dust. Dust it equals dry air pretty much. So um, this is the next frame. Um, I'm sorry. So this is for Wednesday about where it would be. So check it out. That's exactly where it is. And if you look at that other frame, compare it, contrast it. Uh, dust is, and this is the same time frame for the same uh same 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 time period so so it's getting affected by that saharan dust not a whole lot but it's just making the air dry and hurricanes and tropical systems don't like dry air so that's one thing to note before we get started so we're going to jump right into the gfs here so check it out you got that low pressure here and then we're starting for tomorrow the high pressure sitting on top keeping it down uh, not keeping it going from curving anytime soon it goes it stays a weak storm it starts to turn northwest uh, this is for Wednesday, Thursday. It stays a weak storm, but it still is a storm. That might be around tropical storm strength. Not sure. High pressure right above it, keeping it from turning yet. Getting to Friday, it's still kind of grinding, getting close to Bahamas. Uh, still a, a very weak storm, just, just not a whole lot to it. Uh, the high pressure starts to scoot off to the east now, so uh, it, it's, it's able to turn. There's nothing really pressing it against the east coast. So it starts to make that turn, but check it out, by, set, by Sunday, uh, where is it? On GFS, it just dissipates, it weakens, which is kind of odd because there's some very favorable water there, but uh, it, it, just, it just weakens there. So it, it's just kind of odd, but it really, um, I mean, by Monday, man, where, where is the system at? Uh, Tuesday, it's just gone. So that's one thing, you know, that's one, that's the GFS. So let's jump and to the European model. Check it out, 92L, I got that area circled just outside the Lesser Antilles for uh, tomorrow around this time. Getting to Wednesday, just keep your eye on that big blob of rain, well, not rain, but big blob of green right there on Lesser Antilles near uh, Dominican Republic and stuff, Jamaica. Um, it starts to move, I got the area circled to help you identify where it's at. Uh, and it's just cruising over the Caribbean islands like Cuba, Dominican Republic, and, and whatever's left of it, whatever it is. Is it a named storm? It is it not? But uh, it starts to get to the tip of Florida. It does not curve into the eastern seaboard. This is Saturday. And uh, it kind of starts to get into the Gulf of Mexico. We get a little zoomed up here. And uh, check it out. You got, uh, it's an area into the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, it starts to creep, uh, maybe starts to move a little bit north. So. Uh, that area circled is whatever it is. It would be right there. So um, it c comes north. Maybe maybe it starts to strengthen. This is Monday as it gets in that Gulf water. So it starts to look a little bit more intriguing, like as a center right there. And uh, what the plume of moisture, whatever it is, looks like it may begin to lift into the southeast, maybe affecting us here in South Carolina. So. Um, that is the European model. This is the Icon model, which who knows how much. Uh, truth this holds but high pressure up north 92l um invest or unless it becomes a named storm or more which who knows it might then it would be isaias or isaias however you want to say that uh same thing it kind of rides just south of the high pressure uh starts to move that high pressure starts to scoot out east 
a little bit and weaken. Um, uh, so it allows it to kind of start to move north. It's, like I said, here's some arrows. This is Friday. High pressure scoots out to the east. Um, if you try to look right there, and if you know where the Dominican Republic is, that is around whatever it is. Um, and it starts to go where that weakness is, where the high pressure is scooted off to the east. And uh, that's it. That's as far out as the icon is letting me go right now Saturday. But it looks like it's taking that out to sea route or somewhere along the east coast kind of route. So um, we're going to the UK Met model, 92L, right there. Um, it, it shows a little bit more vigorous maybe, maybe really starting to develop into a tropical storm. Uh, this is Wednesday, this is Thursday. It's just kind of taking the same similar route. So this is Friday, this is getting into Saturday, uh, and it looks like it's going to curve a little later. Maybe it might affect parts of Florida. This is what the UK Met model, were. and the UK Met model is a good model for certain things. Um, so that's the last frame we got for that. It goes out to 144, which is Sunday. So is it starting to strengthen there? Is it not? Not sure. We just don't know. Um, last thing I want to show you is the Canadian model. Good gracious. This one is, is all Canadian model, especially in the wintertime. It's just extreme. But check it out. Uh, this thing, it, it looks like it, it starts to kind of skirt the Caribbean islands, but it jolts north. And uh, really it starts to strengthen, it looks like. Um, and at this point, it looks like it, it might be bordering hurricane um, status. You get into Saturday, you get into Sunday. Um, it's starting to strengthen near, uh, near the, uh, geez, I can't talk, near the Bahamas and stuff like that. And check it out. This looks like a Cat 1, Cat 2 hurricane. Uh, and it's grinding the East Coast, getting awfully close to South Carolina. Will this happen? I doubt it because nothing else is showing that. But Keep in mind, this options is on the table. This is Wednesday, and it's heading out to sea. It probably this would this would be a hit on like the Outer Banks and stuff for sure. So uh, that's it on that. That's the update. Um, that's every kind of big model showing. Uh, let's, let's keep keep a tabs on this because something drastic can change. Um, I do want to show this uh, for this week's weather. Check it out. A plume of moisture really starts to deepen. It's Tuesday. Check it out. Um, you got water values uh, nearing over two inches and Wednesday big time. And as it, moist air comes over, rain chances increase. Uh, water values over two inches. Just ridiculously humid air. Even you can get under the smallest shower and it's absolutely going to unload if you get trapped up under it. And uh, check it out. That purple's right there. Over two and a half inch water values get into Friday, it starts to tie down a little bit. So that's all I got. That's the update. I appreciate you watching. Not a whole lot's changed, um, but uh, y'all stay, stay tuned. And please subscribe if you haven't, and y'all have a good night.